Have you ever noticed that royal women from different European countries sometimes wear the same outfits? It's no surprise considering they often turn to similar designers, and occasionally even the exact same ones. While there may be slight variations in royal fashion rules across countries, these pictures prove that their styles can align from time to time. For instance, both Princess Beatrice and Sophie Winkleman, wife of Lord Frederick Windsor, attended the Queen's Platinum Jubilee service of Thanksgiving in 2022 wearing the Beulah London Ahana dress. Although they chose different colors, the dress was the same. In 2016, Kate wore a self-portrait maxi dress, a crochet off-the-peg gown, for the premiere of a street cat named Bob in London. Three years later, Princess Sophia of Sweden wore the exact same dress, but styled it differently with a sash and brooches for a state banquet in honor of South Korea's presidential couple. Kate and Princess Beatrice both looked stunning in the vampire's wife dress. The emerald dress, made from iridescent silk chiffon, features a demure midi length, playful ruffle trim, and a metallic finish, making it ideal for special occasions. Kate wore it during a tour of Guinness Storehouse in Dublin in 2020, while Beatrice wore it to the wedding of pop star Ellie Goulding in August 2019. Princess Isabella of Denmark resembled her mother, Princess Mary, in a white Max Mara blazer and matching trousers. It's not uncommon for daughters to borrow clothing from their mothers, and Princess Isabella seems to follow this tradition. She wore the white ensemble for her confirmation at Fredensborg Palace Church on April 30, 2022, while Queen Mary wore it for an engagement in Stockholm on May 29, 2017. Meghan Markle and Queen Letizia of Spain both wore the Stella McCartney cape dress, although in different colors. Meghan wore the navy blue version with matching heels at a concert to mark the late Queen's 92nd birthday in 2018, while Letizia wore the olive green version for the Innovation and Design Awards in 2017. Princess Charlene of Monaco and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands both dazzled in the Stella McCartney off-the-shoulder gown. Charlene wore the white gown at the 2018 Laureus World Sports Awards, while Maxima wore it at the Royal Palace after the annual gala dinner for the diplomatic course in 2019. Princess Mary and Princess Charlene both looked elegant in the Vilshenko embroidered dress, featuring a delicate yet colorful floral design. Charlene wore it to the annual traditional Peak Neek Monegasque in 2016, and Mary was pictured in the same dress a year later in Tokyo. Princess Charlene of Monaco and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands both turned heads in the red Valentino one-shoulder jumpsuit. Maxima wore it for the opening of the new season of the Koninklijk Orchestra in Amsterdam, while Charlene wore it to a Red Cross gala in Monte Carlo. Zara Tindall and Princess Mary of Denmark both wore the Zimmermann Honor floral dress. Zara wore the cream floral print dress for the Platinum Jubilee pageant in London in June, while Mary wore it to Princess Ingrid Alexandra's confirmation in August 2019. The Red Carolina Herrera coat was first seen on the Princess of Wales during a royal tour of Canada in 2016. Princess Sophia of Spain wore the child-sized version of the same coat to Spain's National Day military parade in October 2016. Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands chose the same designer, Ellie Saab, for different occasions. Victoria wore a coral gown by Ellie Saab for the christening of Prince Alexander in 2016 while Maxima opted for the same lace gown during a visit to the Champalamad Center in Portugal in 2017. Princess Sophia of Sweden and Queen Mathild of Belgium both looked graceful in a flowy, colorful dress by L.K. Bennett in 2018. Sophia wore the green gown for a graduation ceremony in Stockholm, while Mathild wore the abstract print dress for a National Day event in Brussels.
Hugo Boss's very shaded pencil skirt was a go-to label for Meghan Markle. She showcased the tonal blocking trend by pairing the skirt with a red ensemble. Queen Letizia of Spain also put her fashionable spin on royal protocol by pairing the skirt with a classy white button-up blouse. Kate Middleton was spotted wearing a deep blue Beulah London gown, first seen on Princess Mary of Denmark during a visit to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in King's Lynn. Mary had previously worn the shirt dress with a striking white collar and blue polka dot pattern during her trip to Indonesia. Both Queen Letizia of Spain and Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden donned the Sandro's all-over print dress on separate occasions. Letizia wore it to an award ceremony in Madrid, while Victoria chose it for a meeting with the World Health Organization in Stockholm. For the Trooping the Color Parade in 2018, Princess Beatrice wore a pale pink Amelia Wickstead dress, previously worn by her Aunt Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, to the Royal Ascot Day in 2018. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands and HRH Princess Madeleine of Sweden both looked stunning in a Giambattista Valley floral maxi length dress. Maxima wore it at the King's Day concert in Tilburg Theatre, while Madeleine chose it for the World Childhood Foundation Thank You Gala in New York City. The Duchess of Edinburgh and Queen Camilla both wore the same blue floral dress. Sophie wore it during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Queen Elizabeth in 2022, while Camilla wore it for a recording session of the Commonwealth Poetry Podcast. Dolson Gabbana Cream Dress Princess Victoria and Crown Princess Marie Chantal of Greece both looked stunning in a beautiful cream dress by Dolson Gabbana. The dress featured intricate buttoned details. Princess Marie Chantal wore the dress to Derby Day in Epsom in June 2014, while just two days later, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden wore the exact same style to Princess Leonor's christening. Reichel Denise Red Dress Crown Princess Mary of Denmark wore a gorgeous tied waist red dress by Rachel Diniz at the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts in Copenhagen on August 28, 2018. She completed her look with a delicate golden brooch. On the other hand, Crown Princess Met Merit of Norway wore the same dress a year earlier, attending the opening of the exhibition Towards the Forest, Nosgaard on Munch in Oslo, Norway in May 2017. Hugo Boss Keyhole Dress The Hugo Boss Keyhole Dress is a simple yet elegant choice for any royal wardrobe. It features a pleated skirt and a keyhole neckline. Princess Sophia of Sweden was the first to wear this dress, donning it at Stockholm's Royal Palace for the Te Deum Thanksgiving service in April 2016. Queen Letizia of Spain added her own touch by wearing the dress with a belt during an event at Madrid's Royal Spanish Academy on June 22, 2017. Emilia Wickstead Pastel Dress the pastel Amelia Wickstead dress is a favorite among many royals for its simple yet stunning design. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark debuted the dress while spotted in Tokyo on March 28, 2015. Years later, the Princess of Wales wore a pink version of the dress at London's Global Ministerial Mental Health Summit on October 9, 2018. Matching Turquoise Dress Charlotte Kazaragi wore a satin turquoise dress on July 12, 2005, for her uncle Albert Dew's coronation. Fourteen years later, her sister Princess Alexandra brought the dress out again for an Alberta Ferretti fashion show in Monte Carlo on May 2, 2019. Erdem Floral Dress The Erdem Floral Dress is a must-have item for any wardrobe whether you prefer a billowing maxi or a short and sweet mini. Kate wore a floral print dress at the 2019 Chelsea Flower Show, matching the surroundings. The Victorian-style dress is made of cotton silk foil and features crochet lace trim. Princess Eugenie also chose the dress, wearing it a month earlier for Windsor's traditional Royal Maundy service 
at St. George Chapel on April 18, 2019. Vilshenko Lilac Dress Both Princess Claire of Luxembourg and Crown Princess Matt Merritt of Norway looked radiant in a flowy lilac dress by Vilshenko. The princesses each styled the dress according to their own sense of style. Princess Claire wore the dress to the 2016 National Day celebration in Luxembourg, complementing it with a sleek bun and a floral accessory. Crown Princess Met Merritt paired the gown with a wildflower crown for a royal event at Stiff's Garden in Trondheim. Safia Kate Dress The Safia Calica dress from the PF19 collection features a gorgeous shoulder cape silhouette, back drape detailing, and slits around the lower leg. Meghan Markle wore the red full-length Safia dress, along with jewel Simone Rochette earrings, and stunning red Stuart Weitzman heels to the Mountbatten Festival of Music in March 2020. Jordan Zena Chabin also wore the same dress in a stunning electric blue shade to attend the royal wedding of Jordan's crown prince Hussein and Rajwa Al Saif in Ammon, Jordan on June 1. Jenny Packham Gown Jenny Packham gowns are a firm favorite among royals, including the late Princess of Wales. Kate chose to recycle one of her older Jenny Packham dresses for the 2018 Tusk Conservation Awards, having first worn it back in 2012. The teal-colored gown featured pleated design, lace detailing, and a belted waist, establishing itself as a timeless piece. Princess Madeleine of Sweden wore her own pale blue version of the classic dress to a gala in New York in October 2013. These royal women prove that despite their different nationalities, they occasionally find themselves wearing similar outfits, showcasing their shared sense of style and fashion. Don't miss important news. Subscribe. Thank you.